We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone can sit at the front of the room... Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great, though. That doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, uh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing! You're shitting me, right? Performing? Uh, uh Monica? Yeah! We're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. <laughs> Fiore, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. I'm not sucky, and Yuri remains silent. <laughs> Fiore looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Siori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. It looks like Not Sucky doesn't have an argument left. Okay, fine. Guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! <sighs> Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Yeah. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> that everyone! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Well, let's hope not. Let's move on to the main event! Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Monica begins reciting her poem. Alright, here we go. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. I glance around me. Everyone has her eyes on Monica. Yori looks amazed. Yori has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes her rec recitation. The four of us applaud. Now, that was so good, Monica. Uh, I'll go next. Interesting. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up, keeping her head down. She walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. It's... it's called... After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like... What happened when Yuri gets absorbed into her books? Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. I'm the first to start applauding. Captain save a hope. And then I take my pants off. <laughs> Everyone joins me afterward. 
and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. As we applaud, Yuri holds up, holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. I guess I met them. Yuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Yuri begins her poem. Poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Yuri is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Siori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Siori finishes, and we applaud. Good job, Siori. <laughs> Even Grizzly McBee liked it. Now, who's next? Might as well let Grizzly McBee lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. That's fucked up. You just got moved back to the bottom <laughs> of the list. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Just gonna die a virgin anyways. Might as well get it over with. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, like making me feel terribly awkward. Tall and short again. Yep. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyways. Still don't know what my poem says. Rub a dub dub, I'm an asshole. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else is. Don't worry about it so much. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. Natsuki begrudgingly gets up out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. Natsuki's trademark style. And it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day! I can't wait! Do this. I can do this. Yes, you can. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Siori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. Just gotta find your inner vagina. Yep, it's not there. It fits for the sake of the club. What? And impressing Monica. What? Then I'll have to do my best. What? Are you, are, you, are you pissed because it says that? Ready to go, Siori? I'm gonna fucking go home and get drunk. <laughs> yep! Look at you two. Always going home together like that? She's my neighbor. Stupid. Whatever, let's go already. I walk home with Siori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Siori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Siori? Sorry, I was spacing out. I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I... I mean... Siori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> like 
thinking about this one, aren't you? Well, yeah, I mean, I like Yori. But at the same time, I've been walking home with Siori, who is my neighbor. And we've been friends forever. <gasps> I remember something. Let's see. I remember what Monica said. What did she say? In time of difficult decision, always save the game. Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I'd feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? It has nothing to do with what I just said. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You're Siori. You're my neighbor. We've been friends forever. I'm always going to need you. Siori, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in this club is a replacement for you. I could not have said that better myself. If you say so. Conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward, like most conversations with women. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what'll happen in that time. It's poem time! Massacre. Really? <laughs> That's imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Try imagination or after image, actually. Yes. Uh, was it graveyard? Yeah. Oh wow. Those are too easy. <laughs> 